Dre, how do you feel? Good. Ready? Ready to movie? I have no other choice. <laughs> so it's like um, 4.40 in the morning and we're on our way to the hospital because we're having an unplanned c-section <sighs> the baby is way too big and they strongly advise against a natural birth because he will not fit out of my vagina okay so we have no choice this is the only way our c-section is scheduled for seven it's 4 40 now so we're on our way we'll be back for more. Going up. My last day with the stomach. With this big giant stomach. Because there's a giant living inside of me. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> but today, it's gonna be his birthday. August 16th. Is it 16th? 15. Oh, it's 15. There we go. Going down. Hi. went back there. It's nerve wracking. So here, I can't wait to meet you. Um, I'm excited. I can't wait, bro. Wow. It's going to surprise these days here. Wow. <laughs> Lots of hair. We were all wrong. We look big. Oh, I want to give him kisses. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, man. oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I was. We were all wrong. Okay. Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! So why did we have to have the C-section? Uh, because the baby was too big. So we went to our our um, our weekly check-in on Monday, and you know, every week up until that point, the baby was measuring normal. Like it, this whole pregnancy has been normal. The doctors always said we were really easy, but at that appointment, the doctor like suggested that we have an ultrasound just to be be sure that you know I could have him vaginally because he was measuring based on her little tape measure thing like nine pounds so we had the ultrasound and then three times the lady did it and he was measuring at 12 pounds and five ounces and that just really scared me I was really nervous and didn't know what to expect like why is he that big you know like that's super huge but um so after that you know they told me like there's no way that this baby is coming out of your vagina the only way to get this baby out is through a c-section so that's what we end up doing and oh, bless you. that's what we end up doing and I was numb from like my chest down, so I couldn't really feel anything. I was drugged up. So what you doing? 
bonding with my son. You have some skin on skin action? Yep. Damn yeah, right. Sadi. Hey, that man. Sadi's been locked out. Yep. All day. Most of the time. He's bonding with his father right now. Yeah. Um, we're on day two after the um, C section. And it's not easy. The first day after, like, I didn't feel anything because I was still, or after the C-section, I was still feeling the numbing medicine from when they numbed me to do the C-section. But the next day, when I got up out of bed, oh, man, it was like I got shot and stabbed in, in the same place. It hurt so bad. Like, this is, like, the worst pain ever. I know I look a mess right now. Beautiful. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I can't even laugh because it hurts. She look good. Say <sighs> she look good, you too. Mm -hmm. Say so, yeah, Working on a uh, breastfeeding routine. We have to document um, our feeding in diaper diary. We have to put the time and if it went well the breastfeeding or you know if it was an attempt a fail or something they recommend every a lot of attempts he wouldn't eat for like I don't know four hours or something finally he started to eat and he only wants to latch on to the left nipple he really likes his nipple or something but we have to get him out of that um, yeah, so we came on Tuesday. We had a C-section on Tuesday, and we're getting discharged on Friday. They have to monitor me and the baby, and hubby is over there, you know, doing a good job, taking care of us. So thank you, my love. You're the best. It's my family. I'm really liking pain, but I'm just pretending not to. I know. Right that's now. why I'm trying to figure out how long you're going to do this. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Is that here? Okay. I just wanted to come on camera update you guys about that. Um, I have to go more in depth about, you know, why we had the C-section. But that's later. Once I feel better. Um, so I come back on tomorrow and do some more vlogging, but for now I need to get my rest, so, say bye. On day three, daddy and baby is knocked out. They are knocked out. One more day, guys, then we can go home and we can get a good night's rest. Then we'll be coming in every hour. And there's just waking us up. You hear that, Sonny? Sorry, you hear me? So far, how's breastfeeding been? Hard. Hard. It's the hardest thing you ever did? No, the hardest thing is getting the C-section. But this is hard, too. This is hard because you have no experience and you don't know what to do. I'm just swinging it. We're both learning. Yeah. All three of us. Yeah. You know, like, it's hard. Because I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. And the nurses, they ain't really telling me anything. They gave me the pump and was like, pump to stimulate the milk. They didn't tell me how to pump. You know, they say, oh, we have a lactation consultant coming up to see you. I mean, I'm trying. I'm doing my best, right, Sadi? We're doing our best. So how you feel now your mother? I feel like I want to look better before I talk about this. Really? <laughs> Hi, good morning. Good morning. Hi, how are you? Hi, good. Yeah, so I think he was done. So now I need to burp him. And we're on day three. We're getting released tomorrow, discharged. Ooh. So we're gonna go home and try this parenting thing all on our lonesome. Mm -hmm. 
you know, when nurse is not waking you up every hour to come in and check on you and the baby. Every time I fall asleep, they come in. You know, so I haven't really been getting a good night's rest. But they always say, make sure you're resting. How? How's what? How is it possible? If you come in every hour. But yeah. So. Hello, mother. Hi, daddy. What are you doing? Just breastfeeding? Yes, getting the hang of this thing. This is the hardest part of pregnancy. Not pregnancy, but this is the hardest part after giving birth um just trying to get the swing of things and it's all brand new so you know the baby is learning we're learning my husband always have to help me um right now i'm using a a nipple shield because this baby tore my nipples up and they all bruised so this shields kind of help with babies that um have a hard time latching on or you know don't have long nipples or something I don't know, but uh, we're on day four, right? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Day three, we had the C-section on Tuesday. Um, so we're on day three, it's Friday, and we're about to check out and take baby home. And he will be introduced to his new home forever. Are you excited to take your son home? Yes, I'm excited. Are you afraid? Yes. Why? I'm not afraid because I have help. You know, my husband has been the biggest help ever. Like, I don't know how I would have done this if I was single. <laughs> Honestly, I know people do it. You just have to be strong and do it. But it's so much better to have help. Oh, man. Because, like, last night, uh, my medicine didn't kick in in time. And I was trying to get in the shower. And my body was just shutting down. Like my legs started to shake and I felt weak. My back started hurting. Like my legs were hurting, my knees were hurting, my stomach was hurting, everything was hurting. Like it felt like I got, like I was in a drive-by shooting or something. <laughs> That's how painful it is. But I guess recovering, they say your first C-section is the worst. We're ready to go home and Sadi's ready. I guess I'll show you, come back on camera when he's dressed for his going home outfit or with his going home outfit because he's feeding now. He's a big boy. He was born at 11 pounds and 11.3 ounces. And all the doctors, they're like, where do he fit? I don't know either. I'm going to insert a picture too of my, my stomach at 39 weeks and 3 days. And that's when they did the ultrasound. So, you tell me where he fit where he was sitting or how he was sitting <laughs> I still don't know how do you feel daddy I feel amazing never thought I would feel this happy in my life I was really upset a little earlier why I thought when they were talking about his uh, jaundice levels went up so I was like this nigga's gonna try to keep my son here and I'm <laughs> not about to have that I'm about to go freaking what's that movie called John uh no, with uh, Denzel, when he went to the hospital, and he went all postal, like, somebody's gonna help my son. <laughs> That's what I was about to do. Uh, but yeah, it was cool, it was an amazing experience, seeing uh, um, my son come out. Uh, that was crazy. Uh, so, you know, seeing him, I, I was scared at first, I ain't gonna lie, I was a little nervous. Uh, like, I hope nothing happens, wrong happens. I hope there's nothing bad that happens. You know, I was just nervous. And when they brought me into the room when Malika was there, she was laying there and she looked so out of it. I was just like, man, like I was, I was scared for her at that moment more than I was for my son. Not saying I didn't care for my son, but I was just like, yo, I can't lose the mother. Like she just, I never seen her like that. So I just mm -hmm. never. You know, she was fine. Uh, it was crazy seeing him get pulled out. He was big. I'm like, dang, where this big old dude come from? Like a big sumo wrestler, like an Asian. <laughs> so, but, you know, I've been loving it. I've been loving sleeping with him. 
I'm 11, holding them. I went home for two hours and it felt like the longest two hours ever. Mm -hmm. I was like, dang, man. Hold my son. But, yep, that's just, that's just how I feel. What about how you feel about Malika? Oh, I, I feel like Malika's a superwoman. Mm -hmm. Like to hold a 11 pound baby inside you and give birth, like regardless if it was a C-section or not, she held an 11 pound baby in her and gave birth to a baby. It was 11 pounds and 11.3 ounces. She walking around here by herself, using the bathroom and stuff. Yeah, I help her occasionally, but most times she tries to do it by herself. You know what I'm saying? Like She's trying her best not to be frustrated. She's been real patient. She's a superwoman. I love her to death. Oh. And now we have our little family. <laughs> so. What amazing. Here's baby Sahir. We're ready to go home now. You ready, man? Hey. Hey, Sahir. YouTube, this is Sahir. Chosen Humphrey. Huh? Say, I'm the chosen one. God chose me. God chose me. You ready to go? You ready to go? Say hi. Sunny. Hey, man. Say hi to you, too. He <laughs> <I> said hi. <laughs> Gotta go check socks. Got this outfit on Etsy. Not sure um, what's the company name, but yeah, it's cute, though. Hey, man. Say hi. Say hi. And as you can see there, he was born 11 pounds, 11.3 ounces on August 15th. Hey. Hey. Hey, family. Hey. 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 Hey.